as we age, training to maintain power is super important to day-to-day -day life. For example, getting out of bed or getting off the couch requires power. And then it's also important to what you're trying to accomplish in the water. If you want to have that ability to change gears, to have that different speed, that different output, you need to train your ability to produce power. So today we're going to look at a few dry land exercises you can utilize to help develop that power. These exercises are going to focus on upper body movements to start and then focus on lower body movements after that. You can complete three rounds of these movements and I'll list out the repetitions as we go through each individual exercise. Let's get started with a kneeling rotational medicine ball slam. So you have a medicine ball here. You're going to start with that medicine ball on the outside of your front knee. Then you're going to rotate up nice and proud and then initiate a hard slam into the ground. As you rotate across, you're thinking about core engagement, getting those arms in line with ears at the top. So what this looks like at speed is you're up, hard slam into the ground. Up, hard slam into the ground. One more here, big reach, hard slam into the ground. I want you to complete eight repetitions on each side. And you're really thinking about pulling that ball out of the air. So once you hit this top point, it's all about pulling that ball down to the ground, really throwing it into the ground with force, getting those lats turned on as well. You want to work with force with this movement. If you're going just about 80%, you're not quite getting that full value that you could be if you're trying your absolute best. One more here, just so you can see it. Nice big reach, hard slam to the side, completing eight repetitions on each side. The next movement is going to be a pause to power push-up. So you're just going to start in a push-up position. You can either complete this one from your feet or from your knees if you need to modify as well. Then all you're doing here, lowering down to the bottom, pause, taking out all momentum, and then power back to the top. Lowering down to the bottom, pause, take out that momentum, power back to the top. As you power back to the top, you might almost feel your hands lift off the ground a little bit or get a little bit weightless at the top because you're pushing with so much force. Again, if you need to, you can modify from your knees here like this, lowering down, pause, power back to the top. I want you to complete eight repetitions of that movement as well. And again, a common theme here is going to be making sure you're moving with intent. If you're just kind of going through the motions and you're like, oh, I think I'm going fast or I'm trying my best, but you're just kind of going through it, you're not gonna get that full value. Really bring the intent to these movements so you can really train that power. Moving on, we're going to grab a weight. You can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell for this exercise coming up. This is going to be our last upper body focused power movement here. So this is a staggered rotational row. You're going to start in a staggered stance with your feet. You're reaching down to that weight that is going to be inside the front leg. And then as you row, you're going to add some rotation and row with power that might cause a little bit of rotation. You're going to complete eight repetitions on each side here. So. In the stance, pull, rotate up. Pull, rotate up. You can see my eyes stay looking down at the ground. The shoulders rotate, powering up, back down with control. Trying to keep that lower body relatively still. So you're working on stability here at the lower body, powerful rotation with the upper body. Eight repetitions on each side. Again, you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell for this exercise. You want to pull with that speed, get that force going, and move with that speed. One more time here, down in this good position, nice and strong, pull, rotate, pull, rotate. Keep that head still, pull, rotate. Those are the three upper body focus exercises. Now we'll transition to a little bit more lower body focus. Same thing here, we're going to keep with the kettlebell. We're going to work into a kettlebell deadlift for eight reps. We've done the kettlebell deadlift in some of the past articles, maybe even a past video, but we're going to add a little bit of a speed focus on the way up this time. So 
What you're going to do, I want you to hinge down, toes are pointed straight ahead, core turned on, hinge down, keep that back nice and straight, and then boom, power up to the top. Nice controlled lower down, hinging, feel those hamstrings turn on, boom, power up to the top. Remember, we're trying to move with intent here, trying to move a little bit faster than we normally would, but you have to earn that control by making sure you're really focusing on that movement, really focusing your intention here and driving this movement with control. Eight repetitions, focusing on that speed on the upward motion, almost like you're powering off your start or your walls in the water. Next one, keeping with the weight here, you can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell. We have a lateral lunge with a step. So without the weight, if you wanna start just feeling this one out, you're just going to step out to the side, down quick, push back in quick. Step out to the side, down quick, push back in quick. So we're getting that little bounce, that powerful step, almost like a jump happening out to the side. One more time without the weight, down quick, push back in. Now, if you wanna load this movement, hold the weight at chest level, down quick, power back up. You can see it's a little more challenging with that weight. Down quick, power back up. One more time, down quick. I'm gonna pause here real quick. See the knee is somewhere on the inside of the foot here or over the frame of that foot. My hip is behind the knee, so I'm not kind of pushed forward like this and keeping that hip back. And then that drive in, Boom, back up. If you want an extra little challenge, step, try to stop your momentum. Step, try to stop your momentum without putting that second foot down on the way back in. Eight repetitions on each side. Working that powerful transition. That one's a great one for my breast strokers, working those adductors, that inner thigh. Home stretch, one more. So. The last one here, we're going to work on single leg power. When you're kicking, you're using one leg a little bit more than the other and working that one side of the body. So, single leg vertical jump. I want four repetitions on each side to finish out. Find your balance on one foot. Make sure you have space to jump overhead. And then you're lowering down, jumping up, and you can land on two feet. Find that balance on one foot. Lower down, jump up, land on two feet. You can see I'm using my arms. Your arms are a third of your power, so use them. One more here, find that balance point. Lower down, up, land on two feet. Four repetitions on each side. Now you have three upper, three lower body exercises you can apply to your dry land training to get more power out of life and your goals in the water.